Hey, welcome back tubers. So I'm out here today. Uh, I'm on a rather back of nowhere property and I'm, I'm actually out here setting up for another video but I'm walking, I'm just walking around the property a little bit. Nobody's home today. I'm here by myself. I'm very appreciative for the opportunity to be out here and film and stuff. It's a it's a bloody beautiful area, I promise you. Look at that, just clouds and not too many buildings and stuff like that. I'm not going to show you any of the buildings just so we haven't got too many landmarks to identify where I'm actually at. But I was sitting up there at the home and then I saw this old windmill. No, it's only an old windmill. It's I don't know how long it's been here, but she's pretty rusted and pretty well well worn. Now beside it over here we've got a couple of tanks. We'll go for a walk over here first. And it looks like I'm gonna trip over if I don't look where I'm going. Got a snake country out here, so really looking out for stakes. Looks like we've got a couple of old water troughs over here. Whether they were in this location or not, I'm not altogether sure. I don't know the history of the property. Um, we've got a rusty ladder sitting there. But these looks like water troughs and stuff like that. We've got rusted old fittings and whatever else coming inside of it. So I should imagine at some stage they were feeding cattle or something. Good old poly pipe. Oh, here we go. That looks like we've got an old float or something there. Banged up, bit of old pipe. So yeah, it just it looks like one day it was a useful useful thing, but it's seen it's seen better days. Um, someone's put some effort in here down here at one stage. I mean, it's a bit overrun, but that's only grass and weeds. They put a rock retaining wall in there. It's a fairly tall cement tank. I can't quite reach the top. I don't know. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. I'm walking on the concrete here. But that's actually an open well. I always thought that these would just run down into the ground uh, via a borehole or something like that. So that wood, I'm not even going to trust that wood. Curiosity, I'm out here by myself, so realistically, curiosity shouldn't be getting the better of me. And there's lantern everywhere. Now they'll try and hold me phone. Ugh. Never even knew this was here. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm just trying to look around and look for snakes and spiders and whatever, have you? Okay. Wow. I think, I think you should be able to see the water shimmering in the bottom of that. It'll piss me off if I drop my phone. There's actually water down there. I wonder. That's pretty neat. I mean, it's only water, right? But old windmill, I wonder if it's something that we can learn how to fix. I'm going to say probably not. Let's continue this um, idiocy. Oh, there's lantana and prickles and everything everywhere. I have got a GoPro mount, but it's... The GoPro mount is about a half a kilometre away. Let's see if I can climb up here without dropping my phone. There's a shaft there is up to the top but given that that is not moving up and down with the windmill turning where is it you see the windmill turning there and that's not moving up and down the shaft is seized up so I'm gonna say it's seen better days I don't know what it would take to recommission something like this or whether it's worth I wonder give me a second to get back down again will you I don't at all feel safe up here oh. 
halfway back down and I've seen this or noticed it rather and it's all wired up I wouldn't at all be surprised is that some sort of clutching mechanism to stop it from spinning or turning or pumping or whatever maybe it was wired up yeah back at the bottom again yeah maybe that was wired up when the, this 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 plunger or something seized up it looks like it's had some work recently it's got pretty neat little bolts there so what do you reckon tubers do you think it would be worth actually gotta watch where i'm going getting maybe getting a solar panel or a well pump or one of those borehole uh what do you call it submersible pumps or something maybe we can put the solar panel up on the side there spinning away nicely now yeah maybe we could do something with the the borehole i mean if nothing else we might be able to just pump the water over into the dam there there's a dam just this other side of me we might be able to pump it over there and for the cattle to drink out of there's not too many cattle on the property it's basically only cattle that get in from neighboring properties anyway that's a really different one from me tubers i'm going to head back up here and actually do some work and hopefully release this video install this hot water system there's a clue where i am thank you very much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one i'm going to time lapse that sky that looks awesome <laughs>